All aboard! Nature and train lovers go back in time for an incredibly unique way to see and explore the Appalachian Mountains and just why they refer to West Virginia as almost heaven. Hey there guys, I'm RVA Hiker Girl and I am out in the state of West Virginia once again because I love this beautiful state and I have something unique and different for you. If you are a nature lover and you like trains, I have an open car train today that I am going on that takes me up to a mountain summit where you can get off, have lunch, and then come back on the train. 4.5 hours is the total trip time and you climb about 2,000 feet. I think the elevation at the Bald Knob is gonna be 4,700-ish. Anyway, come along with me. I'll show you all about this train ride, what it looks like on the way up there, which you can expect, but it's gonna be a little bit bumpy with my footage because I'm gonna be on a train car and train tracks right here it's bumpy so my footage isn't going to be quite as smooth <laughs> as it normally is all right let me go get on this train and i'll show you what it looks like the west virginia state park system runs the cass scenic railroad and has since 1963. This Shea locomotive is a steam engine and was built in 1923. The engineer and the fireman ready her for the 22 mile round trip up to Bald Knob. She'll be climbing 2,390 feet to the top. We start slowing down as we approach a switchback in the tracks. Switchbacks are actually just as necessary for trains as they are for hikers climbing up a mountain on the trail. On our way up to Bald Knob, the third highest peak in West Virginia, we hit grades as steep as 9%. What that means is for every nine feet of elevation, we climb 100 feet. Because the Shea steam engine needs water to make steam, we stop to fill up at a natural spring on the mountainside.
and we are off again. As we climb higher and higher in elevation, it starts getting foggy. Well guys, made it to the top of Ball Knob, and as you can see, we are completely socked in. But you have to make these reservations so far in advance, and I would not miss coming up here due to the weather, because I hike and explore and travel in all weather. So the train ride up here was absolutely stunning. You can't hear, so I didn't. Um, do any videoing of me talking because we were right next to the engine on car A and it was really loud with um, the steam coming out and the sound um, that the train was making like going up the hill so yeah but it is beautiful up here and definitely worth the trip to come up here and hopefully on the way back I'm gonna try to get on the other side so I can get some of the views that I missed from being on the right side coming up. So I found the spot uphill from the Bald Knob Overlook. It's on the other side of the train over there. It is just beautiful. I'm out of breath from coming up this hill. But man, the red spruce and the hemlocks and all of the pines, loblolly and whites, are absolutely gorgeous up here. And it's foggy, but at least it's not raining because the forecast said we were supposed to get rain, so I'm very happy. I'll take an overcast day anytime than a rain out. Just stopping one more time for water before we head back in to the train depot.
All right, guys, back to the very beginning where we got on the train. These are the tracks that took us up to Bald Knob. Man, was it extraordinary up there. I highly recommend this. Tickets are, I think, $72 a person and it's good for families. But let me tell you, this is September. It's completely sold out for October, which is prime leaf season when the leaves start changing. They're just starting to change here uh, in West Virginia. So plan this train ride if you are coming around the northeastern part of West Virginia. There's several other trains that do this very same trip. And I love things that have have to do with the outdoors and this was an extraordinary way to see this beautiful part of the country in a different way and experience it in a different way and I can't wait to go on the next train ride. Anyway guys thanks for joining me. I'm about to go stay in a uh, fire tower. I was gonna say a wild tower. A fire tower in Seneca State Forest. That's gonna be on another video so I hope that you will join me for that one. All right until next time I'll see ya. If you're enjoying my content, consider donating to the channel. Thanks so much to these supporters.